Hey Libra, welcome to your March 2018 Taroscope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. If you are new to my channel, would love for you to hit the uh, subscribe button right over here and become a part of my community here on YouTube. I do focus 100% on my community when I prepare for my reading. So really critical if you are looking to receive messages that pertain more to you, then definitely subscribe. Um, who's your future partner readings are up on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance to see those, go check them out. I'll put them in the eye in the sky. I think it'll be over here somewhere. So you can just click on it and we'll link over. My love readings are available over on Vimeo for March. Thank you in advance for anybody that does purchase a reading from me over there. Uh, it does help support my channel here on YouTube. Okay. Oh, stay tuned for a Romance Angel card at the end as well. And I'm pulling everybody a Life Purpose um, Oracle card too. They're kind of cool. I love this deck. All right. Libra, what is going on for you for March, career, and money? Hmm. Got the Devil card here. Interesting. Your overall energy coming in is the Two of Cups. And this is just a lovely soulmate kind of energy. Um, it's about a karmic connection. So I feel like there's an opportunity out there for you to find a real home in your career or a new job or um, in a relationship with somebody that can help you with your career. Um, this is not necessarily romantic. But it's definitely a feeling of like a kindred spirit. Maybe you come across a company or a new boss that, or, or a recruiter that you feel like, wow, I feel like I've known this person forever. But through this connection and through the harmony of love, and I know a lot of people hate to hear that, but through the right mindset, you're going to be able to have some nice opportunities here in March to perhaps uh, upgrade your uh, income, so to speak. Okay, so let's see what the other cards are bringing in for you, Libra. The Magician, wow. Current situation, you know, you're, you're in a place where you really want to show the world who you are, you know? Like maybe it's time to have an authentic life um, where you feel more connected to what you do for a living. You do have the Devil card over here, so... I feel like there's some restrictions and blockages. Maybe you're having a hard time kind of just maybe circumventing your situation. Um, I do see the five of wands here as well. It's very competitive out there. Um, maybe just not making the right connections. And, and it's not easy in this day and age. I was just saying in the Virgo reading that it's a crazy world. You know, you, there's not even the human nature or the human touch, you know, with applying for jobs. You know, you have bots going through your resume and you they, you can't even get past the bot if there's certain words not in your resume. It's just a crazy, crazy world, you know? So, but this is your desire. And I love this, the magician. You see the infinity signed over his head? And this is you wanting to show the world who you are and what you have to offer and being your true self. And the really cool news here with this card in this position, though, is doors are going to be opening for you. So for those of you that have been looking for a job or struggling where you are or wanting to, you know, uptick your life in the world, it's possible. It's possible this March you're going to make a lot of headway. You're going to, you know, go through this transformation process uh, like a butterfly. I love it. And the cool thing is, with this major arcan and the magician, you can't ignore these changes anyway. So I like this. You know, this is really super cool. There could also be a lot of written communication coming your way for March as well. Um, I think whoever this kindred spirit is, they're going to be able to help you move forward in your new endeavors. And the devil, you know, the devil is here. So just be careful, you know. Um, yeah, this could be that boss sitting on you. For those of you that aren't happy in your job, that want to make a change, you know, don't give up. Don't give up, okay? Um, I would keep your ego in check, though, as well. A lot of times we have this attainment to an attachment 
of the material world where we feel like we just, oh, if I just have this, I'll have that. Or if I get this, I'll have this success, you know. So it's really critical. And it's funny how they're right next to each other, that you focus on your true authentic self and not this, you know, fake materialistic ego. It's just really kind of cool how they're, it's together there, you know. This is like your pure self and this is like your shadow self. And look, we all have both light and dark within us. Okay, that's just who we are. It's what side we choose to embrace. Okay, you know, here here's where you want to be. And you got the gumption to do it, Libra. I mean, you're right here. Okay, this is more of a fear. Okay, so if there's any blockages or self-imposed limitations that you have, look, Virgo full moon is March 1 and 2. Release what no longer serves you. You know, you have to take the steps. Look, we don't get what we want. We get what, what, be, what we believe. So I still offer my PDF on how to create the life you want through uh, a simple ritual and cleansing. And you could do that. Um, you can reach out to me for a private reading. Uh, but you definitely want to still clear. And if there's any addictions in the way, I don't feel that's really an issue here. It is a you know, career reading, but hey, you know, people do drink, you know, people do drink on the job. I'm sorry, just a little career humor. Um, no, I'm being silly, but honestly, there's just, maybe they're driving you to drink, you know? So just keep yourself in check. I mean, if there's a lot of competition, and I think you know that, because this is like the opportunities to consider, and it's a five. So you know that, you know, it might be a tough road for you as far as, you know, climbing that ladder and what you want, um, even monetarily, you know, look, you got to you gotta go through the process, right? I mean, I have career satisfaction. I'm not formally retired, but I left corporate America. I couldn't do it anymore, you know, but I have career satisfaction. You know, I got to where I wanted to be and my life goal, you know, and um, I'm happy with that. But I tell my daughter, she's she's 25, I tell her all the time, listen, you need to become self-reliant. You need to make sure that you cover your butt with a tarp. I think I was saying this in Virgo as well. There is a lot of competition out there, and it's a different world today, you know, but you can do it. You can do it. Um, and I feel through some kind of love connection, through some kind of camaraderie, and, and, you know, and it is all about networking. You know, who wants a bot going through your resume, you know, and... You, know, you you start to feel like a reject after a while, you know, recruiters, okay, networking, people that can help you um, is going to be your best bet this March. That's for sure. That's the message coming in here for you, Libra. Um, also, don't block yourself. You got the two of swords here and don't be blinded to the fact that uh, you do have to put the work and effort in and, um, you know, maybe you feel Ugh, like you're guarded because of all this competition and do you want to go for that promotion? Go for it. I say go for it. You know, I think you have a lot on your plate, maybe even professionally, because you do end the um, the month. This outcome card is the, the Ten of Wands. Um, but look, you've worked really hard. I mean, this is, this is saying like you're almost there, okay? You're almost home. You've been carrying all these wands. You have been responsible. You haven't dropped any. You're just tired. You can see like how he's kind of even hunched over, you know, doing what he needs to do. Keep going, you know. You're almost there. You're almost there. Look, he's almost home and it's a 10. So you're going to be completing this cycle and I feel you're going to be able to move forward in your life um, and make the changes that you want, understanding, you know, just the way it is out there in this cruel, cruel world. Um... You got to, you know, do what you need to do, right? There's definitely somebody coming in here for you that's going to definitely assist you. Let's pull you a, um, maybe shuffle over here. I have people complaining. I shuffle too loud. And then I have other people complaining. I don't shuffle enough. Guys, I'm doing my best, so be patient with me. Okay, these are the life purpose cards that I mentioned earlier. They're very sweet. I really, really enjoy them. I have, a, I've had them a long time. I thought that'd be nice to introduce into the career readings here and the money readings. For those of you that don't work, you know, you could very easily trust and faith in yourself and 
start your own little gig if you want. There's a lot of DIYers out there that do very well for themselves on Etsy. If you're looking to do something, if you're not looking to do something, that's fine. Okay, money, money. I was just actually... There's not a lot of mention of incoming money for the month, but that's okay. I mean, I think it's steady as she goes. I don't see there's any um, negative influence on money here or... Uh, positive per se, just a lot of worker bee energy, some mental energy being used and getting your your thoughts sort, sorted out. But the magician right here that just gives me so much hope that you can really manifest what you want. You know, it's time to share your gifts with the world, you know. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're DIY -er or anything like that, it's time to have faith. It's good to be creative, too, on the side, even if it's not something you sell or do a business. Maybe you like to bake. Maybe you like to, you know, always focus. This one wants to fall out. Um, always good to um, have a hobby, too, you know. Okay, so the card that fell out, very interesting, energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. I love that. I haven't seen this one in a while. So that's very, very powerful message. Somebody needs to hear that. Maybe somebody wants to get certified in Reiki or become a coach, a life coach, health coach. So many wonderful opportunities to build a business online today. I'll go to school online. You don't even have to physically go to a location anymore. I mean, there's so many wonderful opportunities out there. So any of you that have been struggling with you know, maybe fighting your demons. This might be an, a, a great way for you to go because then you can be in, in touch with, you know, how to help others. And you help yourself by helping others and educate yourself into um, this whole metaphysical field. You know, it's growing by leaps and bounds. Um, I'm an energy healer. I've been studying for 25 years and I see a lot of young people, you know, getting involved. They want to give back more, and this is a way to do it, and it's becoming more and more accepted, too, as well um, in the world today. We need, we need more energy healers, people that understand it. we're all energy, you know? And again, you don't get what you want, you get what you believe. So there's this whole cycle um, of this new generation that needs to be educated in how to really create what they want, okay, through um, the process of understanding that we are all energy healers. We can actually take care of ourselves and our own um, health as well. It's, it's, it's a huge market right now. So I love that. Definitely somebody needs to hear that. Look how um, she's an angel. Look at her chakra cen centers all open. I'm doing a lot of distant healing. Uh, not to you know shamelessly plug myself right now, but it's true. I'm doing a lot of distant healing, Reiki uh, healings. Clients are booking sessions after they maybe have a reading because, you know, sometimes you just can't get out of your own way and your chakras need to be cleaned and you don't want to keep looping back into dysfunction. So um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful way to earn a living as well. So somebody needs to hear that. Let's now pull you a uh, Doreen Virtue Romance Angel card. I'm going to shuffle over here. For those of you that say, I shuffle too loud. <laughs> Can't I please everybody. All right, guys. Don't forget, check, check out your love reading, too, over on Vimeo. I would really appreciate that. Ooh, Libra, Libra. What other messages for Libra for March 2018 in love? It could be as it pertains to this reading or not. Just let's get a lovely reading. My love message card, I meant to say, oracle card for Libra for March. 2018. I think that's good. True love. Okay, you know, so for some of you that maybe don't work, okay, like I mentioned earlier, there could be, you know, a love situation coming in here. You know, again, I try to focus certain spreads and readings for certain messages, but you know, God has a way of, you know, pushing the messages through me for somebody to hear this. Somebody needs to hear it. I love it. I really feel that there's somebody coming in here for you, Libra, that is going to, you know, be a soulmate energy for you. It is going to be a true love opportunity. This is the romance of a lifetime. You definitely need to go check out your love reading over on Vimeo for sure. I love this. Somebody needs to hear this. So for those of you 
that maybe don't work, that um, are looking for love, it's on. It's here. And the sun is coming around the corner here through my window. So I, I apologize for the glare. But you can see this pretty clearly. This is just lovely. Very, very nice, Libra. I love it. Okay. So I don't mean to cut this reading short, but I do have to move on. A um, little behind the gun here. YouTube has been, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. They're just taking three hours to upload one reading, and I do need to get everything out and uploaded. So I appreciate your patronage over in Vimeo. I appreciate all your love and your support of my channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and we'll see you in April, okay? All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.